What is going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be checking out Sony's HTS350 soundbar with the wireless over here, over here, wireless subwoofer. So here it is. This is the 2.1 channel sound system. This is the soundbar over here. And here we have the wireless subwoofer. It's like almost the size of a PC. So taking a look at the soundbar, let's talk about its build quality. It's made out of plastic on the top. It kind of has this grainy leather um, look to it, but it's actually just plastic. And then on the top of the soundbar, we have all of the control buttons. We have the power button, Bluetooth, the volume buttons. And then on the back side, we have a couple of ports. This soundbar has two ports, HDMI arc port and an optical audio port. The front grills are made out of metal on both of them. And uh, setting up the soundbar with the subwoofer was very simple. All I did was plug it into the wall and the subwoofer automatically connected with the soundbar. And then the soundbar, I connected it to my phone using Bluetooth, which was, you know, it's like, you know how to do it. It's like connecting a wireless headset. You can mount this on the wall. The soundbar is 35 and a half inches in length or width. And then the subwoofer itself, I don't know. I haven't measured it, but it's like a size of a PC but a little bit shorter. It's a very clean setup. I like how these look all black. It looks very clean against the white wall or anywhere. This is going to look really nice. One thing I wish the soundbar had is a little digital display. Like there's an LED light that's going to tell you what mode you're in. It's gonna take a while for you to get used to it. The only mode I know is Bluetooth and there's like purple, all these other colors. I haven't really looked into it, but yeah, I wish there was a little digital display here. All right, now I'm going to plug it into the wall and let you guys hear how this sounds. Here is the remote control. It's a nice little remote control. Uh, I like the fact that I can make it stand up. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it on. You can see these are the lights. And then we have a couple of different modes. There's Bluetooth mode, cinema mode, music, night mode, and voice mode. The voice mode actually works when you're watching movies. It does help increase the dialogue in the movies or whatever you're watching. This soundbar sounds good, but it's not going to replace a whole sound system, like a 5.1 channel sound system, like an Amazon $100 soundbar. Compared to that, it just comes with the soundbar. This sounds like way better than that because of this subwoofer too. It's in Bluetooth mode. It's looking for a device. When it's blinking, that means it's looking for a device. I'm gonna turn on Bluetooth on my phone and then it's going to turn solid once it connects. So yeah, it connected. That means it's solid. And we can also turn up the bass in the subwoofer on the remote control, it lets us do that. Uh, when it's all the way up, you can see two LED lights turn up. That means we're like all the way turned up to whatever setting we're using. Same goes with the volume. If we turn it up all the way, there's going to be three LED lights that's going to blink saying, or two LED lights like that, that's going to be saying. This is how it looks like when we're maxing out on the subwoofer's volume. And this is what it looks like when we're maxing out on the sound bar's volume, which I don't want to do. So let's turn it down a little. You see the, how it indicates, it's very hard to know since there's no digital display. So right now I'm watching a video on YouTube and uh, there's not really any lag that I can notice. This is being viewed via Bluetooth. When you're gonna use this with a, uh, like your TV or something, Connected through HDMI arc, it should sound the best using that method. Watching videos over Bluetooth, there's no major latency that I can notice that's going to make me not want to watch videos via Bluetooth. So that's nice. Uh, I can't really find a song that uh, has no copyright. Okay, here we go. I can turn up the volume from right here. Thing, the base subwoofer is connected. There's uh, there are buttons on the back. There's a power button and a link button. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the link button. And uh, hopefully this go is going to link with the soundbar. All right, finally connected it. All I had to do was turn it off, uh, turn both of these off, then I turned it back on and they just paired automatically. Here we go. All right, now you guys are going to listen to some gameplay and kind of get an idea for how the 
sound bar is going to sound when you watch movies. It's uh, playing at around 75% volume right now. Your dead brothers made sure of that. We were supposed to have double the body count. It's all about flipping telly. That's the point. Secure. Alpha Bray. Injury to the front door. Alright, so I hope you kind of got an idea for how the soundbar is going to sound. If you're going to be upgrading from, let's say, a TV speaker, this is definitely going to be an upgrade that's worth it. This sound system has a total output power of 320 watts, and I think that is great enough for an average consumer like me to enjoy music, watching movies. I know this is not going to make you feel like you're in a movie theater, but this is a 2.1 channel soundbar. So yeah, upgrading from a TV to this is definitely a big upgrade. And if you're an average consumer like me, you will definitely enjoy this. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And then until next time, guys, peace.